What's happening guys? Lemon72 here and you guys have requested that I do a video on you know how to bring the you know TouchWiz UX experience to the Captivate and before I showed off a video and it was briefly showing you guys a Samsung add-on that gave you that whole S3 experience I'm gonna one-up that and bring you guys the S4 experience it will also be on CM10 and that's going to be pretty much it. So I've gone ahead and pre-rooted the device because that's a whole separate entity and video to deal with. If you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know. But uh, that said, let's continue. So I'm just going to show you guys what I already have. So I already also put the files on this phone. The add-ons that I currently have, and I just threw them off from the computer. The S4 pack, which is what I'm going to be using and that's going to essentially bring you the TouchWiz 5 launcher it'll bring you Samsung apps, S-Memo, stock, uh, Samsung calculator and it'll also bring you S-Voice which is beautiful it really brings you that you know next level experience that this device you know can totally you know deal with which is kind of cool you have the S4 launcher. This is was taken from the same site, and I'm going to show you guys in just a sec. It essentially is simply just the launcher for the uh, for the resolution for the device. So on this site, there's several different uh, resolutions, and I'm going to get into that later. And then this is the old Samsung add-on you saw in a previous video briefly. It gave you that whole S3 experience. That's going to be there. I will also give you the link in the description for that as well. So. There's going to be two different sites, one for the S4 stuff and then for one for the S3. And I'll also show you guys, you know, this navigate the site to navigate in CM or rather Cyanogen mod, where you're going to get the ROMs from. So that said, here we go. So what you can see here, oh, so that is the. As for experience, by the way, I'm going to update my previous video where I gave did the whole, you know, how I rock mess through because I, you know, messed around a bit more of the settings and I found a way to make this thing, like, nearly flawless. But, of course, because it's still using a not, you know, it's not using stable ROM. There's few bugs still there, so sometimes it'll have a little stutter here and there, but it's so smooth. It's unbelievable. But that's not, you know, this video. So let's go here. I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So that is cyanogemond.org and essentially where you guys are going to go, now you can do this from your phone or your computer, you go to devices and you see where he says vendor, you're going to go there you're going to find Samsung which is going to be down below and there you go, there's quickly, it captivates the first thing you see on the left you go there and you pretty much pick in this case because this video is going to be for CM10. We're going to go to Sable because that's where it is. And there you go at the top. Now you're also going to want uh, 9.1. Sorry, I had a hiccup, guys. Reason being, you have to flash ICS first. Going from stock gingerbread is what, which is what you guys saw here. So I went straight back here so I can, you know. Start fresh for you guys. So there you go. That is gingerbread. So you have to go to ICS first. It has crucial drivers. Without that, you will not be able to get the CM10 or 10.1. So that's that. Now I have a few other ones here to show you. So that was this. So this is the S4 uh, launcher and widget. You know, it's ported over as it even mentions on the right there. And here we go. So I'm going to go down. So shout out to the developer who did this. And his name is... Where is it? EMWNO. So shout out to this guy. He made it happen. And as you can see here, these are the resolutions. So XHDPI is the 720 by, I think, 1280 resolution which is you know the S3 and all the devices other devices have the equivalent resolution and then HDPI is this so it is a 400 by 800 resolution specifically this is a 480 by 800 by details 
and MDPI, which is somewhere around, I think, between 200 and 300 something resolution. Those are some old, old devices even prior to this one. So that's going to be that. And down below is where you'll see, if you keep scrolling down, the S4 pack, which is what you, I showed you there. This will bring you, as it mentions, a calculator, app store, file manager, launcher, widgets, S voice, S4 sounds, and Samsung memo. Now, putting that on here, I don't get the sounds, or at least I don't believe it does. And for some reason, on the S3, it, it's worked. I've gotten it to happen. It brings you the sounds and all that. But the problem is the calculator does not work at all. You'd have to disable it and swap out for something else. Or rather, it, it, it does work, but there's, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't fit the full size. It, like, the calculator stays to one side of the screen and whatnot. But again, that's not this video. So let's go you know, continue on with this. So that is the S4 site, and again, I'll include the links in the description to all this stuff. So the last one, and this is just to show the people who are more interested in it, the, or maybe I'll just flash this because that's what people ask, it's all the same thing, really, but I really want to bring the S4 experience, that's pretty much it, but uh, that is the uh, add-on for CM10, and essentially all you have to do is download it actually I think I don't guess that's where you go just go download now and it should straight quickly download to your to whatever device or to your computer again this is something you just you know flash the zip and that's it so you know that's that's it quick and simple and to the point there so those are the sites there again I will include the description there and pretty much by the time I am done I'm gonna bring what you see here to here. So, you know, let's get to it. So, and if you've already rooted, if you're already on ICS or you're already on CM10, just skip uh, the video all the way up to the point where I, you know, start getting into it. So, or, you know, just download, or go straight to the sites and download and flash it. I'm sure some people just know straight to do that. So, essentially, what I'm going to do is turn off the device. As we need to go into recovery again, I've flashed everything, so as I just said rooted. The recovery is all here. Let's give it a sec. Oh, there we go. I heard it. So to, obviously, to get to uh, recovery for people who are maybe new to this, hold down the both volume rockers up and down, and power button. Once you feel the vibration, or sorry, rather, once you see uh, the i eight nine six thing pop up, let go of the power. So let's do it. So there you go. So holding on to the volume rocker. That's just uh, the boot animation for the uh, custom recovery. I have no idea why. But uh, anyways. So here you go. So we are in Clockwork Mod Recovery, version 5. Now what we're going to do is wipe data, factory reset, wipe cache, wipe data cache. Then we're going to install CM9, uh, as I mentioned. It's going to let it completely install, reboot. Do its thing, and then I'm going to reboot from within CM, and then we're going to go to CM10. So, cache partition should be rather fast. Dial the cache. All right. So now that that's done, you go install zip from SD card. Wish it was not so bright. Anyways, choose zip from SD card. Flashables. You want to go ROMs, and you see 4.0, because that's where I put this. So you see CM 9.1, you go there, and you install it. So I'm going to let that do its thing. It's going to reboot, and check out the cool uh, boot animation. Actually, I'm just going to bring this right here so you guys can see it. Actually, no, I can zoom in. What the hell? <laughs> Clearly, you can see how my day is going. Okay, we'll give it a sec. It goes into the screen and then it'll eventually reboot. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to have a glass of water here. Or at least I think it's supposed to reboot already. I know it's going to reboot at some point. <laughs> Just bear with it. And all that said, then, you know what? Just to kill time. 
Oh guys, so guess what? I'm gonna start my new job. I'm gonna be working for Rogers. So, you know, kick ass, sick job, good money. So because of that, I'm gonna bring you guys more devices. I can promise you that. You know, my uh, start date should be Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So, uh, get you to me right there. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can have some more fun while we're waiting for this. Oh, never mind. Alright. Alright, this should be a pretty cool boot animation. Kind of think they should have kept it. Definitely a fan. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah. Gotta give them credit, man. They know how to, they know how to, you know, make some pretty sick animations there. But that's pretty much it until it loads. Now to kill more time, all right, I busted this out just because I. Now I showed this in a previous video. You guys see that? A candy cane in the Easter egg. Never seen that before. Again, if you guys have ever seen that, let me know. I definitely have only ever seen it once, so it's probably really rare to see. Not that everyone goes about doing it often anyways, but that said. So give it a minute or two, guys. It's always going to be uh, slow on the boot animation when you first flash a ROM. I think this is standard for the people who know about that, for people who are new to this. It takes a bit longer on the first boot, and then it goes back to a normal... Uh, time frame when it comes to you know booting up the phone and while this continues we're going to get another glass of water alright so there we go so we are running ICS now you didn't get any kind of uh, opening, uh, what should I call it, you know, startup screen because you didn't flash Google Apps, which I didn't do because there's no point of doing that because this is going away, and yeah, there's some weird thing like that, but that's not important because we're about to ditch this ROM and go to something better, so I'm going to reboot, we're going to go straight to recovery, we're going to do it the lazy way, let the, let the ROM boot us into it, so just give it a sec. Alright guys, so there we go. So essentially what we're going to do here is, you know, wipe data factory reset again. Let me just move that right so you guys can all see it. Sorry if I bring it in way too close to the screen. <laughs> I'm looking actually through the screen. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Wipe partition. Advanced Dalva cache. Alright. So now we go back to install zip from SD card again. Choose zip from SD. Now you see a whole bunch of things here. Never mind that. Go back to flashables. Go to ROMs. 4.1. Now you are going to see uh, an error the first time around because it has to do with a change in the partition. You're going to see this right away. So I'm just going to bring this up close. And there you go. There's the fail. And it says this ROM uses an compatible partition layout. Your data will be wiped upon installation. Run this update again to confirm install. So once you do it again, it won't do this. It'll actually install it just fine. So again, go back to zip uh, or choose uh, SD card, flashables, ROMs, 4.1. And there you go. So I'm just going to bring that right there. Let us do its thing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's not going to automatically boot into the ROM. It's going to boot back into the Clocker Mod Recovery, finish the install, and then we're going to flash Google Apps. And by the way, you can find Google Apps uh, in sublink with the CM website. If you, guys, if you guys have problems, let me know, and I'll update the description in the uh, video, and I'll include 
uh, some kind of shortcut to the Google Apps. Essentially, that's going to bring you, you know, your Play Store, your Start Out screens. Uh, sometimes I think you'll get like Gmail and a few other stock Google Apps that you'll get because without it you won't have like any of them and of course you can't do anything without the Google Apps, without Google Play specifically. So it's almost done. Sorry for the super long video guys, but that's kind of what it takes to get the, you know, to get that experience going to the phone. You have to, you know, flash it and it takes time. And I like to make some of my footage raw anyways, so I don't feel like cutting and editing it. This kind of gives you the full experience of what you'll see happen to your phone. So by, you know, cutting the video, it really doesn't help you guys too much. There you go. So boot right back there. So now that you've done that, you also, by the way, because you installed ICS, and maybe you guys didn't notice and I didn't mention it, when I booted the first time into recovery, it was version 5. After you install the version, uh, sorry, CM9, you go to recovery version 6. So that said, let's go install Google Apps. So I'll bring that right back down here. It'll take about you know about 30 seconds to a minute or so to do. So we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. By the way, this method here is gonna work in terms of uh getting the whatchamacallit? The S4 experience, as it said, the launcher that was ported to not just you know Samsung devices but all devices. So you know if, if any of you guys are running CM or whatnot, if you're running like you know an HTC device or a Sony, all this stuff should work for you. So, all right, so choose zip from SD card again. We're gonna go flashables, add-ons. As I said, because I'm gonna bring you guys the whole S4 experience, we're gonna go with the S4 pack. Sec shouldn't should only take about again you know twenty seconds or so. Okay, or half of that. Okay, so now that we've done that, what you're gonna do is go back. Now, for the sake of this, you know, usually you're supposed to you know wipe. Uh, cache partition and dial the cache, but you know, screw it, we're just gonna go reboot. If anything, uh, you know, if something goes wrong, go back and do it, but we'll see. I don't think anything should go wrong. So that is the CM10 boot animation for some of you who don't know. And it's pretty sick. I love it. So again, you know, with flashing a ROM, this will, you know, take about a minute or, you know, two to, uh, you know, to finish booting and then, you know, to start into the main, the start. Uh, what do you much call it? The start window, to, you know, for the ROM itself. But we're almost done, guys. And I hope you enjoy this because I don't know, bringing the S, you know, bringing some nicer uh, UI, more stable ROM to your. Phone is always a good thing. People who have this phone clearly know, and not so much the US because apparently they got 
uh, more updates on the Captivate than they did here in Canada. Roger stopped simply at one update that was to bring it to 2.3.3. And, you know, you had all kinds of problems. You even had the home launcher randomly failing, which is pretty sad. And honestly, it's a shame on both Samsung and Rogers to let that happen. Just because who releases a ROM, you know, who releases stock software with such problems, you know, that's, that's ridiculous. Anyways, should be almost done. Almost done. And again, if you guys want, you can also just, you know, skip the video and you, you know, saves you guys time. Taking a bit longer than I thought. Oh, there was that little, there was a moment. There you go. Okay, so we're just gonna go skip right here. Start. Let's give it a sec. It's gonna tell me it doesn't see a SIM card. I'm going to zoom it out. Kind of forgot to do that in the first place. Alright, it wants to take a... <laughs> wants to take a minute there, clearly. Really, 4.2 is a bit faster in picking up that there's no SIM card. So, just for now, we're just going to... You know, let this do its thing. Alright, so you can see, skip SIM card, that took so long. Okay, so I'm going to put it under Wi-Fi, give me a sec. Okay, so, let's zoom in just a bit more. Oh, let me just hunt in on that too, because we're going to need uh, Google Play to complete this, so. Alright, so it's signing in. And we're just about done now. Just got to get past the start screen. And there we go. So we are done. So as you're going to see here, there's the option for, you know, trebuchet the AOSP launcher or TouchWiz. We're going to go with TouchWiz. And there you go. So as you can see, now this is because, of, you know, because this phone just started up, it'll have its little chugging moments. But uh, let's go here. So I'm going to show you guys the themes you guys are going to need. So let me just go here. So what you're going to want is this. So the thing is, to get the S4 theme, it's going to be 270 in the Google Play. But it's absolutely worth it. Obviously, a one-time purchase. If you don't want to do that, of course, you can go with the S3 alternative. Actually, no, that's the, uh, I tried that just for the fun of it. I'm sorry. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. There you go. So then there's a CM 10.1 TouchWiz. This was in uh, my previous video. I had a link for that. That's free, and it'll give you the S3 look and feel. So let's uh, back out of this. Oh, 
So you can size, as you guys can see, it's clearly, you know, S4. So let's see. Hurry up with the update. See what else. Just so want to make sure, you know, sometimes they like to download extra stuff after the fact. No, it's just taking a while. Things do take a while because they change a lot of things in the phone. So there you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. So now that that theme is done, what we're going to do settings. And we're going to go all the way to themes. We're going to scroll over here. And where is it? Apply. Apply anyways. Let's give it a sec. Now you are going to get uh, force close on something. It's going to pop up saying it didn't do it properly. Ignore that. There's actually the guy, the developer actually mentions that in the description. There you go. Unfortunately, system UI has stopped. That's not really true. It's not going to cause any problems. It just does that for whatever reason. It says that again in the description. Whoa. So once you have done that, reboot the device. Just go reboot. Again, the boot animation or the booting time will be much slower than it was when you first do it. So just let it uh, quickly run. Just gonna zoom out there. There we go. Actually, it's maybe too far out. Okay. So it's almost there. This is gonna be one of the longest videos I've ever done, but you know it's all part of the process. So if I bore you guys, I'm sorry. Anyways, okay. So here we go. So. You know, it'll be a bit of chugging along, remember, you know, it's a single core phone, da da da, but look at that. Alright, now let's, as you can see here, you have that whole experience brought to you right here. So let's, uh, let's, let's drop that right here. Let's bring SMOMO into the picture. Let's bring Google Play here. Bring the camera into this. And of course, as I showed you. Just for the sake of it. So as you can see right here. Actually, maybe. Oh, what did I click? What did I click? Oh, okay. Don't need that. Let me just uh, turn down the brightness here so you guys can see better. Nope, that is not it. I don't know why I just did that brightness. There we go. Okay. Hey, okay. So there we go. So that should make it far more visible as you can see here. Smooth. And brings you, as I said, everything. So you get your, uh, look at that. So you get your S memo. Completely works fully functionally. You know, your camera's themed. You get Samsung apps. And you get S voice. And this actually really works. Like, completely. You know, as long as you have the SIM card, you do it anywhere you want. But. You know, because it's in my other phone, it, you know, you're locked to Wi-Fi, but check this out. What's the weather like in Ottawa? Oh, yeah, I think, usually it plays sound, I'm thinking. Well, why didn't it play sound? Alright, never mind. Let's go here now because the you know you'll get some of those wake up commands things like that things that will just kill the battery. Let's try that one more time. Hey, all right, oh, that's being slow. What's the weather like in Ottawa? Huh. Okay, usually it does speak, it spoke at least in 4.2, maybe it's just 
being weird on 4.1, but anyways, so let's take a look. So there you go, 4.1.1, and of course, you know, stable version there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So there you go. Yes, for experience, I bring you even S voice into the picture. You were, usually works better if you want, you know, maybe, I don't know, try 4.2. But again, if you want to sit on the stable 4.1, that's how you get touch was there. And just to show you guys, there's a few more things you can add. Let's go to widgets. So you can see like how much is this that you, this is so hardcore themed, it's ridiculous. So you get that analog clock. Whoa, what did I just click on? Okay, never mind. Let's drag and drop that. Okay, so there you go. So you can see you get the special analog clock. And let's go scroll over. And as you can see, you get your Yahoo Finance, you get your Yahoo, uh, what is it, News. Now, the news you're going to have to go in and automate and select, you know, it's going to say, there you go. It's, can't detect your country. You just go in there. If you're a fan of that, just click Canada and click Done. And there you go. It's going to load the stuff. So that's pretty much it, guys. There you go, you got your uh, S4 experience brought to you here. So, I mean, I'm not going to go into the whole customization, you know, for developer options, performance, stuff like that. Let me know, you know, what your setup is in terms of that to get the smoothest experience. So far, it looks pretty smooth, as it is. And, yes, yeah, so there you go, guys. Subscribe to me. And again, I will include all the links in the description. And uh, have a good night, guys.